Recently, fellow YouTuber Steve at Plug and Play EV had done a cross-country road trip with multiple videos where he had stopped at, I believe, two different Ford dealerships that he had a very positive experience with. Just this past week, this station opened up on PlugShare, and I noticed it was a Ford dealership with 180 kilowatt DC fast charging dispensers. So I'm very curious, is this new Ford initiative really a thing? Let's find out. Okay, so we have two dual handled DC fast charging dispensers or actually chargers here that are CCS. We also have two level two chargers, which I'll show in just a second, but these are labeled at 180 kilowatts and the back end partner is EV Connect. Let's go over and take a look at the transformer. So you can put a sticker on a charger that says you're able to do 180 kilowatts and also put something on the internet. But if you don't have the power behind it in order to supply it, it's of no consequence. But this is a 500 kVA transformer. So they definitely have gone through the process to engineer sufficient power to be delivered to this site to uh, support two dual handled uh, 180 kilowatt chargers. Let's go ahead and plug in and see how that does. As I mentioned, Ford has been doing what appears to be a pretty significant job at solving the DC fast charger problem, at least through their dealer network. They don't have any um, partnership with like a major CPO. They're basically going alone. They do have the Tesla partnership. Let's see if this is close enough. For access to the supercharger, they were the first ones who had access to the supercharger. Eh, this might reach. Let's see. But we'll have to see if in the long run, just putting in DC fast chargers at your dealership is going to be sufficient. That seems to be their intention. Okay, I'm connected. Let's go ahead and delve into the details of this charging session. Okay, it's a little bit hard to see, but I am ramping up. We're going past 60 kilowatts. I'm at 54%. I would expect at this state of charge to be able to get, I don't know, at least 80 kilowatts. Uh, normally the Volvo XC40 recharge at a low state of charge can do 155 kilowatts. Right now we're only getting uh, 57. Let's see if it goes up anymore. I'll check back in a, in a minute. So yeah, I'm still only getting 58 kilowatts. I don't think that's the car. It would surprise me. And the transformer is 500 kVA, so there seems to be sufficient being delivered. And it is nameplated at a 180 kilowatt charger. It should be able to do that, assuming everything is uh, connected correctly. I'm not quite sure why we're only getting 59 kilowatts. That is a little curious. Steve at Plug and Play EV, when he connected to the charger at the Ford dealership in an EGMP car, was able to get, I believe, 180, 190 kilowatts. I don't remember the exact number, but it was still pretty impressive. Okay, well, it just jumped up a little bit. I guess it needed time in order to normalize, because now we're up to where I would expect us to be at 57% state of charge, which is a high 70s. So... Perhaps the charger just needed time in order to normalize voltage or something, I'm not quite sure, but we are getting throughput in line with what I would expect with the Volvo XC40 recharge. All right, while my car charges, let's go ahead and walk around the dealership a little bit and see about the Ford initiative to install DC fast chargers on their uh, dealer properties. So as I mentioned, there's not only four handles of DC fast chargers, there's also two handles of AC level two chargers. And if you look over here, there's a third pedestal. These are also rated at 19 point, I'm assuming 19.2, it says 19 kilowatts. So these are the Ford Pro stations able to support the extended range Ford F-150 Lightnings. Ford currently offers to retail customers two models of electric vehicles. The Ford F-150 Lightning, this one right here is stickered at, $96,690. It is the dual motor extended range. 
and the Ford Mach-E. I think this is the Mach-E Rally. Actually, this is a used car. So, yeah, that one is something different. But anyway, they offer two models. They also have, for commercial customers, the Ford E-Transit. The name of this particular Ford dealership is Earl Tyndall in Gastonia, North Carolina, which is southeast of Charlotte. However, stations like this are popping up all over the country. Okay, all replenished with electrons courtesy of Earl Tyndall Ford in Gastonia, North Carolina, with their brand new DC fast charging station that has four stalls in the new Ford Charge network. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.